Hello everyone, how are you? Here to give you the match results for the final SmackDown of March and main event. Um, March 26, 2021. Let's talk about the main event matches first. Garza and Grand Manalik of the Lucha House Party faced off Lindsay Duraz at ringside. Um, for his partner, Grand Manalik. I did not care much for this match because it was slow, slow build up to it. Like, all they kept doing was reversing each other's moves and holds. Um, guys are easily won with the ring clipper. It would have been a lot better match if there was more, like, high flying done. Um, the other match of main event was intriguing. Drew Gulak and Akira Tozawa. Everybody knows they've been on a major losing streak as lately. But they finally faced off one-on-one. -on -one. So someone was going to win finally. Great match. You gotta check this match out. It was high flying, action paced, non stop. Drew Gulak applied an arm hold. A character's out, reached the ropes. To get all that. Gulak caught him coming at him and hit, hit a nice spinning backbreaker. Um, Gulak hit a German suplex. And A character's out started hitting him with runner moves, drop kicks, and all that. There was a nice combination of character's out did. He did a nice shining wizard. Followed up by a springboard corkscrew elbow. Drew Gulak got the win, so finally he's won a match. But poor Kara Tozawa still on losing streak. So hopefully Kara Tozawa finally wins a match. Um, now we'll SmackDown. The opening match on SmackDown this week was a rematch for Fastlane. Seth Rollins faced Sensei Nakamura. Great match. I enjoyed it from start to finish. And both these guys, the trunks are red and black too, which was pretty cool. So they kind of matched. Um, Nakamura came right out of the box and just hit nice knee strikes to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins had to hit some forearms and a sling blade to get the upper hand. Nakamura caught Seth Rollins coming at him and just ran right out of the corner and just drop kicked the heck out of him. Um, hit that nice run-in snap suplex in German he does. That was cool. Um, Nakamura went for King Sasuke and Seth Rollins... Countered it with a nice elbow right to the face of Nakamura. Then he hit the curb stomp to get the win. After the match, he went to curb stomp Nakamura against Cesaro return from the beating that he suffered a couple weeks ago. And attacked Seth Rollins. And at WrestleMania, we got the match. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Comment below if you're excited to see that match. Like, I'm excited to see it. Um, and What do you think? Like, how long do you think they should have for the match? I hope they used to get... More than 10 minutes. Because they're a sucker. They get like 5 or 6 minutes. They got to go longer than 10. Um, the second match on SmackDown was a 6-man tag. Big E, your Intercontinental Champion. Teamed up with the Street Profits to take on your tag team of Chad Gable and Otis and Apollo Crews. Daniel Dawkins and Otis started off. Daniel Dawkins caught Otis coming with a drop kick, which... Hit Otis, but Otis did not go down. So then he tagged in Montez Ford and hit a double drop kick on Otis. He still did not go down. Otis finally caught Ford coming at him and had a nice body slam and a scoop slam. He tagged in Chad Gable. Chad Gable went to work on Montez Ford. Montez Ford, then they fought back and forth. Um, Big E got tagged in and just cleaned house. He went for the big ending on Chad Gable, who countered it to a nice arm bar hold. Biggie got out of it. All six men got into the ring. They started fighting each other. Otis and Chad Gable hit a nice combination move. It was like Otis hit a running clothesline and Chad Gable at the same time. Jimmy suplexed D'Angelo Dawkins. That poor guy almost got decapitated. That looked painful. And even when he got up, he was like, yeah, he was feeling that move. Um, Biggie wasn't paying attention. And Apollo Crews had tagged in. And hit the Olympic Slam from behind to get the one 2 free. Um, Natalia with Tamina in her corner faced Bianca Belair. Um, right off the get-go, Bianca Belair drop kicked Natalia, got her into the corner, stuff from punches, shoulder blocks, kicks. Natalia was struggling. She got out of the corner. Bianca Belair threw in her out of corner, started unloading on her again. Sasha Banks came out. During the match, was allowed Tamina as the referee was checking on Natalia to hit the super kick on Bianca Barrier, which allowed Natalia to get the upper hand finally. She delivered, she applied the surfboard stretch. She delivered a nice distance clothesline that almost won the match, but Bianca kicked out. 
Um, at one point, Bianca Barrier messed up a move. She went for the Springboard Moonsault and overshot Natalia. Um, and at one point, Natalia was basically kind of waiting for Bianca Barrier like, to get ready to do something, which I did not like. Um, Bianca went out of the ring to take a breather because Natalia was beating the crap out of her. And she slapped Sasha Banks. Then she got back at the ring and hit the KOD on Natalia for the 1-2-3. After the match, Sasha Banks, upset that she got slapped across the face, which I don't blame her, hit the backstabber on Bianca. Now on for your main event for SmackDown. Dolph Ziggler, one half of the Dirty Dogs, your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, but Bobby Roode in his corner faced Rey Mysterio with Dominic in his corner. You gotta check this match out, folks. It was great. Fast-paced action. Um, Rey Mysterio had a nice top rope one time sit-down on Ziggler. Ziggler at one point grabbed a hold of Mysterio outside the ring and just freaking power bombed him over the barricade. I'm not even on the barricade over it. That was awesome. Then he just super kicked Dominic because he's a dirty dog. That's what they do. Um, Ray Mysterio fought back. He went for a move. Ziggler counted into the famous sir and got a two and a half count. Um, Bobby Roode and Dominic got involved. Um, Bobby Roode tossed Dominic out of the ring. Rey Mysterio drop kicked Bobby Roode out of the ring. And then Ziggler hit the zigzag from behind and almost won the match again, but Rey Mysterio just kicked out again. Mysterio eventually hit the 6 1 9 fall by the drop of the dime to get the 1 2 free. But great match, like I said. Um, so there you have it. Um, definitely check out Kara Tozawa versus Drew Gulak on main event. Um, and definitely, you got to check out all the matches on SmackDown this week. I really enjoyed the show. Let me know below what you thought of SmackDown this week. Um, the matches, how you liked them. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. And before I forget, uh, I've been looking for the Funko Pop for quite a while. Um, I got it online. Thanks to my Aunt Tammy for ordering it for me. And my mom finding it for me online as well. It was funny. got one. Soundwave Transformer Funko Pop. I'm excited. Now I got the free I want it. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.